talked sure. the other day about having lost a few leads but uh, in some games, but you, you held on. But do you feel like going on the road, maybe your margin for error won't be as, as big and, and you might Absolutely. get away with some of those things? Absolutely. It's it's always a little tough on the road. And uh, guys got to make extra plays and uh, the focus has to be sharper. So uh, definitely, you know, the margin for error is smaller on the road. I mean, that's been proven over the years uh, for our team, for any team. So uh, we will have to play better. Is that the next step for this team is to go on the road and see how they handle that? Yeah, it, it's uh, you know something that uh, uh, December, you know, we're on the road quite a bit. And uh, so it'll be good for our team to, to see where we're at and uh, to play in front of fans that aren't cheering for us and, uh, and see how we handle that. Sounds like it could be quite an atmosphere there with a big crowd for UNLV. And, oh, it and will be. It will be. It's it's a, it's a good venue. You know, it's loud, and uh, uh, they'll have some fans there. So, you know, it'll be an opportunity for us to to see how we play out on the road. Is there anything to draw from the championship game there in, in Vegas against Arizona, being familiar with the venue and it being hostile? Uh, there's a few guys, you know, that played in there, and uh, we didn't handle that one very good. Uh, <laughs> I played a little better against Utah, but... Uh, uh, no, it'll 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 be good for the guys to, to get there and a uh, little preview of what's to come later in the year. Uh, but it will be a good venue, and um, they'll have a lot of fans there, so it'll be it'll be tough for us. What about UNLV as a whole? What are you kind of seeing out of them? Very athletic team. Very athletic team. Uh, you know, at every position. You know, good size, good athleticism. Uh, you know, they're they're coming together as a team. Had a good win over Indiana, so. You know, we'll definitely have our hands full. Um, UCLA hit 23 of 24 free throws, I think, to beat them by two. So uh, we'll have to play awfully well. Was Fresno a good prep? That was a pretty athletic roster. Too. Yeah, they, they do have an athletic team. I, I like their ball club, uh, Fresno, and, and um, their athleticism did give us problems, especially late. So, uh, yeah, that, that definitely, uh, you know, Baylor had a very athletic team. They had a very athletic team. We faced two. Uh, very athletic teams. Arkansas State's athleticism wasn't bad. So, uh, but Vegas is a little longer, a little deeper, you know. So we'll we'll have our hands full. What's been your impressions like of Zimmerman down low on the block? Well, he's a good player. He's really skilled. Uh, you know, can stroke it, uh, can move away from the basket. Uh, very athletic, long. You know, he's, he's just a good player. I've been able to watch him over the last few years when he was in high school, and he's just a good player. It looks he like maybe the Jordan's biggest test. For, for Chris so far? Well, he'd be a different, you know, kind of player because he can go inside, outside, and uh, he puts the ball on the floor, you know, and can get to the hole. So, yeah, he'll be a be a tough matchup for all of us. Looks like Jordan's close. Is he making the trip with you guys and will he see some minutes? Oh, he'll make the trip. He won't play. Uh, but, um, you know, he's he's starting to work a little bit. Uh, we haven't had him in any live action, so he's, he's a ways away, yeah. Tyler had the ball in his hands a few times down the stretch. Is he the guy you, you trust right now to kind of get you into some things? Late oh, games? you know, we trust everybody. You know, we just got to keep moving forward. Uh, Casey's done a nice job of getting us in stuff. Uh, Tyler, you know, will do it. Kendall is making progress. I was probably a little hard on Kendall the other night. Um, you know, probably should have played him a little more. So, um, you know, I, I think all three of those guys can, can start the offense. The Navy trip going to be a test just to kind of see how these guys handle a game and then a long flight and then. Well, the Navy trip back. will be tough because we'll have all the servicemen uh, <laughs> cheering against us, so it'll be a hostile environment. Uh, what was supposed to be a neutral game, uh, probably not going to be very neutral. But uh, no, it, it's a long trip, but one that that we need to make. You know, it's, uh, it's going to be a good experience for our players, and um, you know, Pearl Harbor Day is is still a very important day to a lot of people and. Uh, so it would be a reminder to our guys. It will be a good trip for us. I know you're always wanting to see improvement, but when you watch film of your team, do you feel like this is a top 15 team like their ranking shows? I don't know. I haven't watched enough teams you know, across the country. I, I watched some games over the uh, Thanksgiving holiday with all the tournaments, but other than that, I haven't seen many teams play. And so I have no idea how we stack up. Uh, <laughs> All I know is that you know our team has a lot more. We should be playing better than we are. Uh, there's no one area. You know we're even on the boards. In the last two games, we've been beat on the boards, which is a big concern. Uh, our last game ball handling was it was really bad. 
you know, and it hasn't been great. And because of that, our transition defense is bad because we, you know, we turn the ball over and they go shoot a layup. Uh, uh, our transition de defense hasn't been very good. So, and against Vegas, that'll be really important because they get out and go. So, uh, we've got a lot of work to do in a lot of areas. Our execution offensively uh, can really improve. Uh, defensively, our communication has to get better. So, uh, we're definitely a work in progress, and uh, you know it's exciting where I think we can get to, uh, but we sure have a lot of work ahead of us uh, to get there. Something you talked about on Monday was how you're kind of missing how vocal Joe Young was on the court. How do you improve that sort of communication? <laughs> well, I think it's you know all the guys stepping up and talking. Uh, it's not any one guy. Uh, I don't think we have a guy like Joe who just chatters all the time. Uh, Dylan Ennis is is the closest, but it's kind of hard sitting there on the bench doing that. <laughs> but uh, no, I I think it's got to be a team thing. I think Casey because he's got the ball in his hand so much. Uh, Tyler hasn't said anything yet in six games, <laughs> so we we got a long way to go with him. Uh, Kendall's not quite sure himself, you know. And, Point guard's the most obvious guy because he's got the ball in his hand so much and he's out front of the defense. So he kind of sets a tone both offensively and defensively. And, uh, you know, Joe was able to do that for us last year and uh, Johnny the year before that. So we've, we've had a couple years here where I've really depended on those guys. And, uh, you know, we're just, uh, those guys got to grow into that role. It's not something you just click your fingers and you start doing it. It takes a while to, to have the confidence in your players, your teammates' confidence for you to do that. You get any idea when Ennis could potentially come back? Oh, it's, it's going to be a while. I mean, I, uh, you know, another month. You know, Christmas, you know, somewhere around there. It's those things are slow, and, and we've got to be real cautious. Those guys have futures in basketball. Jordan's going to play, and Dylan Ennis is going to play when he leaves here. So it's not just about this year. It's it's about their future, and and uh, so we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get them ready. Uh, but we will not play them before they're ready, that's for sure. Would you need, when you say Christmas, is that kind of back into practice and then he'd need some I more? Don't know. I don't know. Just They told me Christmas, so I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't ask questions, you know. I, uh, you know, I feel bad for Jordan and Dylan. Yeah. I don't feel bad for the team. You know, we, we just got to go forward. You know, there's no excuses. You just you play with what, you know, what you have. I, I feel bad for Dylan. I feel bad for Jordan because they're not getting to play, mm -hmm. you know, and they've worked so hard you know, to, to get themselves ready for the season and play. So I feel bad for them. I don't feel bad for anybody else. You know, that's just part of the game. Is it something you think you may look at come postseason time or tournament time, player A and player B got, you know, extra minutes early on because Jordan and, and uh, Dylan were out? Wow, you're looking at that I, uh, <laughs> I worry about the next game. Uh, you know, somebody else may get hurt by that time. You know, you you don't know. It's it's a long season, and so many things happen. Uh, if, if everybody stayed healthy, it could be a good thing. You're right, uh, but you know, who knows what else will happen during the season? And uh, so you just never know. You just kind of play the cards the way they keep coming. And, and our guys have done a great job with that. You know, we told them right away, hey. You know, until we get those guys back, this is our team and this is what we got to do. And again, I feel sorry for the guys that are playing. I feel sorry for the guys who aren't because, you know, I, Dylan Ennis put a tremendous amount of work in to, to getting ready for this year. And, and Jordan was working his tail off last spring when, when he went down. So I feel bad for those two guys.